Hi everyone. Oops, sorry. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. And I apologize that I have not been around for the past week. It has been a sick week, not only for me, but my husband was in bed at home for most of this past week and I can't really make videos when he's here because our house is so tiny and he was sick and trying to rest and literally the next room is him and our walls are paper thin. So anyways, I am back today. He's finally up out of bed and out of the house. So let's get started. I wanted to share with you my biggest budgeting mistakes that I made while I started budgeting and it these took me a very long time to perfect and I'm not even going to say that I'm perfect but these were my biggest mistakes which is why I kept failing at my budget and I thought I would share them with you. So the first one was I either started out with too small amount of budgeting categories. I realized that I needed more sinking funds and I needed more categories for my daughter's birthday and her school and I didn't want to just have that all included in a miscellaneous. I wanted something specific for that and so with just four or five categories it just wasn't enough for me. And then the other one was I had way too many categories so I was either all the way on this side or all the way on this side. I've now found my balance where what works for me, I have all my categories that I need and they have worked for me for the past two years and I haven't needed any more or any less. So it did take me uh, quite a few years to figure out what worked for me and if you are lucky it might take you less time than that but you know budgeting is not meant to be perfect right away it's always learning and life changes so your needs are always going to change and it's all about making the change along with it anyways number two is I would set completely unrealistic goals now again this could be on one side or the other either I set them far too high where I put way too much money than I should have ever put and of course if you're gonna allow yourself six hundred dollars for groceries or gas even then mostly or entertainment and that kind of stuff then you are probably going to spend it I know I did if I was given the money and I was allowed to spend it then I did because I was, oh I still have money left so I can go out and buy stuff or on the other end, I just did not allow enough. And when you're first starting out, it is hard to keep my, your spending at a very minimum. And especially if you were like me, I used to spend a lot of money and I was a shovelholic. So going from spending to not spending at all was really hard for me. So... I am now pretty good at that and if I only allow myself $10 for entertainment or something like that, I, I am okay with that. But at the beginning, it just was not realistic for me. So everything takes time and you just have to know yourself and just keep track of what you are spending. And let's say you spend $200 out of the month on entertainment normally try cutting it down maybe by even $25 or $50 if you're trying to spend money and if you can do that try cutting it down by another $25 the next month until you get somewhere where it's comfortable for you and will save you the most money. Number three is taking from other categories when you run out in one category. This, it, I used to do this all the time, and either I would lose track of where I kept it from, so I didn't know what I was spending less in and what I was spending more in, or I would be taking money out of some one category, but I actually needed that money in that category, and then I would have to borrow from another category, and it just got really messy, and 
I lost track of where money was coming and going and it just was a complete mess so I do not ever take money out of another category. What I have done in the past, which I really try not to do, is if I do need to spend more money in a certain category, I will just spend that money um, from the next month. So then I will just put less money in there um, the next month. So if I have $50 every month for uh, personal and ho home or household, then and I go $15 over because I needed it this month, and that just means I only get $35 the next month. I like to not spend it all if I don't and then I just carry it over or if I spend a little bit over I just get less the next month. So that's how I do it and that's what works for me. Number four, using my debt or not my debt, my debit or credit cards and even my savings when I ran out of cash. I used to do this as well and let's just say that was not a good idea because again I lost track of where my money was coming and how much I was spending in a certain category and again it is a really good way to um, mess up your budget and then number five of what I've been saying all along is not sticking to the budget not sticking to my budget messed everything up for the month after and it was really hard to keep track of my, my spending. And so I really am very careful now to make sure that I have my envelopes with me and not spending on my debit and not taking money and just so that I know how much I have. And if I don't have any more money, then that's it, that's it. And number six is not writing things down. I would have to say this is probably the biggest mistake I ever did is going out and spending money and then not writing it down right away. And then I would go back to my budget and be like, well, because you don't always get a receipt everywhere you go. And sometimes people forget. I don't remember everything I did two weeks ago and if you're not constantly writing it down the second or the same day of spending then it is very easy to lose where that money went and then when you're going on your budget and you only have two dollars left and you started out with 25 and you go where did it go and now you don't know so um, not writing it down is uh, really really bad for budgets I know it was bad for me and that was probably my biggest mistake it was very hard to uh, be consistent in writing everything down and then the very last one number seven is giving up I gave up many many times over and over and I just said well I'll just start again next month or I'll just start again the month after and I did this all the time for probably a couple years in a row, I just I kept starting and quitting, starting and quitting, starting and quitting. And like I said, it took me a while before I got my budget down and to live a very frugal and good budgeting skills. It did not happen overnight and I'm not perfect and I wasn't perfect then and I'm still not perfect now. Anyways, I know this video is getting a bit long, and I just wanted to thank you all for being here, and I really look forward to seeing you all next time, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Bye!